Hello and welcome to another video. As usual, my name is Jeffrey and this is Inquisitive Universe. So let's talk about DockStation HD emulator. Now the DockStation emulator is the uh, emulator of the Sony PlayStation 1. I have already done a video about video games emulation and emulators. So you may want to check this out um, before you continue with this video or after you're done. So uh, it is developed by a guy called Stenzek, uh, who I have had the pleasure of speaking with before proceeding with this video. The app is a free app under the Creative Commons license and it is the most stable PlayStation 1 uh, emulator out there. Dare I say it's the most stable and it's the best. It supports all PlayStation 1 games without any form of hiccups here and there. Whether it's Q, whether it's IMG, whether it's ECM, ETC, it supports them all. And uh, for this reason, some people have not been very happy with Stenzek or his app. They've tried to get his app off Play Store, you know, because there are people who actually offer this um, PlayStation 1 emulators for a premium. And therefore, with an app this good, why would you want to spend money on theirs? So he has been very, very firm on, you know, associating with, with his app with anything that has to do with piracy or pirated channels. So I am going to be glossing over some stuff in this video but you can check the screen for prompts yeah so let's continue minimum requirements the minimum requirements to run this game is anything with at least any smartphone with at least a processor that has four cortex a53 cpu cores and a decent gpu with two gigs of ram and an android operating system of uh, version 7.0 and above but the downside of you know these minimum requirements is that the game would run fine but you would be uh, you would have hiccups here and there some parts may load some parts may not load you may have to close the app and go in and come out etc etc so uh you may also not have controller support as well so this is why i always uh i would uh, i would impress it upon you that you'd go with the recommended specifications which is at least a smartphone processor that has at least four cortex a73 cpu cores and and or uh cortex uh, two cortex a75 cpu cores with at least a decent gpu something like adreno 610 or mali g52 mc2 so you see processors like the helio g70 g80 j5 jt8 for example or the snapdragon 662 665 uh 678 uh 680 uh, 685 as well so these are these are the specifications you should be looking at with 4 gigs of ram and a 30 sorry a 64 bits android operating system now this will ensure you have a very smooth gaming experience as well as controller support should be guaranteed so um the game like i said supports bluetooth controllers as well depending on your smartphone specification so what are the steps that you should be taking if you want to get this game up and running the first thing is that you have to install from play store the game can be gotten from other channels but i will impress it upon you that please get all your games from play store wherever and however you can because it is still the safest place to get games from and then when you do that you would want to create uh you would want to create a folder and then name it dog station you can give it whatever name you like but i'd prefer that you go with dock station so you uh, enter into the app and then click on the game directory and then choose the um folder that you created called dock station that's what you're going to be working with from then on so you need to source for a bios image stenzek will say get it from burn it from uh, a console that you own officially but check the screen for prompts yeah so when you find it uh when you've sourced for it uh you just simply copy it to the bios subfolder inside the main dock station folder that you've created now if you've done this correctly you could simply go to the app tap on the drop down menu click on start bios and then the iconic playstation 1 boot sequence should come on if that does come on it means that the app is up and running and the next thing you have to do is source for games and he will also say he would also say you have to source for games by yourself however you can that is open to interpretation by the way check screen for prompts again yeah so um usually games come in a compressed format 
usually when you get games they usually come in a compressed format so you have to decompress them or extract the q and bin files from the you know compressed stuff so you can do this simply by using um z file extractor or an es file explorer which i use personally or you know some default um some default file managers on many phones can actually help you extract files you know from a compressed format so if you can extract the file extract it to the um, doc station subfolder or uh, you could even create another folder inside doc station and then name it games which is exactly what i did to separate it from my other files in there and then you extract your games and then put it inside the game subfolder so if you do this correctly uh you go to your um you go to the app itself and then you scan for games and voila they should pop up if you've done it correctly so if you've if you've done that and uh, your phone actually you have a decent a phone with decent specs like i said the recommended specs the next step that you want to do is a bit optional you can play games via the uh, stanzek actually coded you know the game to have on-screen controllers but when it comes to games that make use of the r1 and l1 buttons shoulder buttons and there are quite a number of them you you do you, you'd better be the claw guy if you're not the claw guy just go get a controller this is why i said recommended specs are optimal so when you get it you can simply pair it to your smartphone by going to the drop down menu enter controller setting click on port one choose controller type dual shock and then perform automatic mapping and then you are good to go another setting that you may want to check out is the um, aspect ratio go to app setting display choose aspect ratio uh, 20 ratio 9 or any other widescreen or just you know go with uh, the uh, smartphone um, stuff and then you're all set you're all set so there is a there is a overwhelming ton of games to play with the playstation one and i i don't think that you know like games on 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 the on, on the uh, what's it called now on play store can actually meet up to like the number the share number of in terms of quality and the, the best part about this one is that these games are offline you download them and then they are uh, you source for them and they are offline they are completely off line to play you just you can just you know go on our hours on end and enjoy yourself and have fun and this is one of the best emulators out there to help you enjoy this so with that we've come to the end of this video so tell me what you think about it i, I really if you're a gamer and you're looking to play retro games you know rather than going out to go and you know look for an expensive playstation One console because they are a bit expensive nowadays especially now that they are retro right uh, and just a very simple app will just you know help you turn your your smartphone into a retro console and then you just have all the fun in the world and then if you're older if you're from an older generation like me you know like have a trip down memory lane enjoy the nostalgia and all that just tell me what you think if you give this a try as usual my name is jeffrey and this has been an episode of the Equisive universe please like subscribe share and i'll see you in the next one bye bye